Yo, what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at designer backpacks. If you cannot see right there, we're looking at a spectrum all the way from the cheapest side of things to the expensive side of things. And you guys know we're looking at designer backpacks. I don't only want to show designer backpacks that are hundreds of dollars just because I know not everybody can go out and buy a backpack for $400. Even some of them are like $800. So today I'm also going to be showing you guys some alternatives from different places that are very cheap going down to the $60 range. Showing you guys some quality backpacks you you can get if you want something else for that look as well as if you want to go ahead and get a gift for somebody if you want to get a gift for yourself if you're asking this for Christmas for a designer backpack I want to show you guys the differences between all the different brands including diesel MCM Gucci off-white all different brands like that so let's go ahead and jump into it You guys already know it is hashtag holiday hype right now and it's like the whole month could be hashtag holiday hype where basically all the different things that I'm showing you are in correlation with things you could be giving you could be getting for gifts for this holiday time and today we're going to be giving away a backpack for you guys for holiday hype and it's going to be the first backpack that we show so without further ado let's go ahead and grab that one right over there so the first backpack up for this video is going to be from Herschel now this is a little bit odd of a color but I thought I'd show you guys something that is a little bit on the cheaper end of things again like I said most people don't want to go and spend a couple hundred dollars on a backpack but there are people that can and that will and I understand that if you want to some people prefer finer things when it comes to maybe backpacks or wallets or clothing anything like that but for some people who don't have that budget I wanted to show you some things from stores that are accessible like urban outfitters are a little bit cheaper this is a Herschel backpack right here in a kind of a mustard color which is a little bit different from what I typically will go for but I've shown you guys so many different black backpacks so I thought let's switch it up this one is just a single zip it has a nice laptop sleeve in there and there's just a little bit of room there's not too much going on because it is such a simplistic and cheap backpack this one again was at 60 bucks and it carries up to a 15 inch laptop and just in general Herschel backpacks are very good you can find them all over Amazon you can find them all on different websites and there's probably a lot of Cyber Monday deals going on right now as you guys are watching this video so obviously I will be linking down below some of my favorite backpacks of the year I will be giving this specific backpack away just if any of you guys need something for back to school if you need something to travel with all you have to do for this giveaway is as always on this channel when I do a giveaway is number one you have to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications if you want to head and be notified when I post a video especially in this holiday hype time number two you have to follow me on Instagram and then number three you have to comment your Instagram down below in backpack and that is it now again this is just a very simple backpack cool looks nice little color pop if you guys like something a little bit different from black but there's obviously so many different color variations this and I'll list some of my favorite ones that are even cheaper down below all right, so I actually wanted to add one more backpack to this because you know when I'm doing these videos, I don't like to just sit in the house all day. So I want to go out right now and we're going to go to a place where we're going to get a design. I, I don't know what kind of specific backpacks they have, but I know that they have really good deals on backpacks. So we're going to head over there now, but my car, I just dropped it off for a wash and wax and it won't be done for like six hours. So I have to take a bird and it's like two miles away. So let's do that. Looks like there's two birds just right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it real quick. Looky here. Look how beautiful this is. And that too. Little pit stop just to show you guys the scenery. We got some nice uh, Christmas lights. 1.7 miles. Not much of a selection. This one was 350 down to 94 plus 20%. These, I like this though. Made with the same material from a Supreme bag. 195 to 65, 20% off of that. So I got what I needed and now I actually have to go into another store to look for a Christmas gift for my fiance. So that's something I gotta knock out while I'm over here because I'm two miles away from home. Why not do it? This one ended up being cheaper than the cheapest one I found and the retail was 200. That's why I tell you, check these stores. Sophie, I hope you're not watching this video but I'm not gonna show the gift that I'm getting you so so I ended up getting two backpacks and a gift for Sophie <sighs> now I have to carry all this on a bird like this is so heavy I did not think this through still there don't ride on sidewalks so much just to ride on the road it's actually nice to be able to maneuver around the city and not have to have a car because sometimes you 
don't need to drive. The bags ended up working like this, so it was easy enough. I didn't have to worry about it. If only it was a little bit cooler out. If it looked like I'm wearing something different is because I filmed this the next day after because I wanted to show you guys a little bit more before we get to the heater stuff. So we'll cut back to that in a second. But the first thing I got was the cheapest backpack in this whole bunch that I should have gone there before at Nordstrom Rack, originally at 35 down to 14.97. Just a Vans backpack, super simple, pretty clean too. Inside, there's nothing. It's literally like empty. There's nothing going on there, but for 15 bucks, that is not a bad deal at all. Literally, $15 is super, that's uh, one meal. So I thought that was cool to include. And then this one from Saks off Fifth Avenue, the market price was $195, and it was marked down to $69.99 and then to $65.97 plus 20% off. But the cool part about this was, this is made from Cordura, I think that's how you pronounce it. If you don't know, this is the same material that are used for all of the Supreme fanny pack. I don't know if it's all of them, but I think it was last season's fanny packs, backpacks, all that kind of stuff. So it's a very durable material and one that can handle a good amount of wear. Laptop sleeve right there, pretty nice. The materials on the inside are very silky. There's a zipper as well on the inside. The front has two patches here and it's just a simple black. It's got the whole outer material, the Kodura material. And I just thought for 50 bucks, like look, that's the same patch that's on all the Supreme bags. For 50 bucks, this is not bad at all. And it's cheaper than the Herschel and this is a $200 retail backpack. So if you check out Saks off Fifth Avenue and Nordstrom Rack, they always have sales, especially this time of year. So now let's cut back to the next backpack. That's double the price of that. So the next one is going to be one that's honestly not that cheap, but I, it's more of a quality product. This is from Urban Outfitters as well. It came in at $110. This is a weird looking backpack. I'm not going to talk too much about it because there's a comparable to this that's one of the high end designers. Is a reason why I got this because this is one eighth of the price of the designer. When we start to talk about designer brands and designer backpacks, one of the brands that I like to think about is Diesel because Diesel is one of those brands that has good designs, but it's not too outrageously priced. They do definitely have higher prices, but they are good quality products. So I went over to Diesel and I found like three backpacks that I really like. This one right here is kind of like a raw denim look. It says Diesel. It's got these nice like straps with these aglets on the end. This one's actually puffed up with some like. I don't know, air. And it kind of pulls open like this. Well, let's see if we can get this open. Oh, that's pretty cool. Take out this big air bag and this thing just flops down. So this is a bag that's meant more to carry things, I would say like clothing and big pieces, not things like a laptop. It's not like an everyday work backpack. The inside is just completely open. As you can see right there, there's not really much going on. There's one flap right here that has the price on it. This was $148. And you could fit something in here, like maybe a charger. Not much organization going on, but it is more of kind of like a style piece, I would say, more than it is like a utility lifestyle style piece. Let me put this back in. And I think at $148, you're looking at a brand that has good quality, different intended purposes for something like this. But even from Urban Outfitters, this is a $38 difference. And these designs from Diesel, I really truly like. And there's a lot of backpacks that I like on their site, which are probably on sale right now for Cyber Monday. I would guess some of them are up to 30, 40% off. So this one, I like the blatant text up front. I like just a little bit of attributes of text and a little bit of font going on there. And then these little strings coming down here that look like a nice thick rope. These straps don't offer much support. It's just really like a nylon or I can't, what kind of material? would that be strap there's no padding or anything and again this is more of like a looking piece it's more like a wear when you go out not like where to bring it to starbucks with your laptop in where there so diesel comes in at one of the cheapest out of the actual designer backpack but the next brand is going to be from mcm now this is one of the most popular i would say designer backpacks from a little bit farther back in the day i'll say the popularity has worn off just a little bit when it comes to mcm because some of the other brands have kind of taken over that dominance in a designer brand world mcm is a little bit more expensive they do have good quality but for a typical backpack you're looking at their leather ones are like seven eight hundred dollars and you can get some comparable things from gucci from off-white around that price point that yeah the quality might be a little bit better but if you're already at like eight hundred dollars why not jump up to a brand that you maybe if you want like louis vuitton or something like that that's just where mcm has kind of been for me i feel like less people have been wearing it but still a lot of people like it and i think it's a good quality brand like this specific backpack right here is good quality it retailed at 645 dollars pull out the tag i didn't even realize the mcm bag actually comes with a duffel or dust bag so when you're taking it traveling or i guess when you're storing it you can make sure it doesn't get hit with all of things i don't even know what i'm saying oh, this was a t-shirt at first to be honest but comes with the mcm bag to kind of hold it in dust bag which i guess attributes to the price but for 645 this is actually on sale for 30 percent off not in st wow tags right here 675 and i got it for 445 because they're having 30 percent off online but not in store so i kind of they were able to kind of match that at bloomingdale's this one has a cool overall camo print with a little bit of mcm logos this reminds me of something that i would maybe see from louis vuitton and it's got the nice little spikes there it doesn't scream mcm as much as some of their typical bags do like the leather bag and i think it's a little bit more low-key this one has a little bit of padding on the back as well and on the inside you're looking at some of the sleeves for a laptop and then you have one more sleeve inside of there again this is more of a showpiece 
piece less than a everyday wear like this isn't something you wear every day to school you could do that but i think you're getting a lot more wear and tear than you would want on a piece like this especially when you're spending like 700 bucks i know there's a good chunk of people who like to wear backpacks on a regular basis when you're going out if you got a lot of gear you got to carry with you maybe some extra clothes whatever but mcm does offer good quality backpacks but i would say there are some comparables for 675 dollars i guarantee right now on cyber monday again there's going to be so many deals on mcm backpacks because they are very high priced and i feel like they're going to be marked down like 30 percent. this one was already 30 percent off before black friday cyber monday so 440 bucks it's definitely a good quality backpack i think it looks good on the back this overall design is one of my favorites from mcm because of the color scheme it's more low-key and it's good quality mcm is definitely good quality but now they've kind of branched out to shoes clothing and all that kinds of stuff. making our way up we have off white now this is one that i wasn't gonna include at first in this video because they're they were like 900 dollars at some of the ones i was looking at they're on sale for like 700 but actually a few days ago they just released a few more backpacks that aren't i don't think they're on sale yet maybe on some website i think farfetch it might be but they released a few backpacks that are at kind of a more affordable line now i guess the materials wouldn't be as crazy as the ones they're using these are retailing at 635 i think this one might be a little bit more 630 dollars is the retail on this which is not bad honestly for off-white and it kind of goes with some of the lines that are coming out and that is this red backpack right here which i think is absolutely beautiful it's got the whole backpack quote on the front with the nice thick zippers top says backpack kind of obvious and then you got the off-white straps with some padding and it has the nice silky you know industrial belt going on there this is actually my favorite of all the backpacks just as far as the price goes for a designer and the overall look and style that you're getting the zippers are a little bit thicker on the inside you're not getting too much to offer as far as compartments for different things you have like a little sleeve that could maybe fit an ipad but nothing that's going to fit like a laptop in my opinion you'll just have to throw your laptop in there this one does come with a dust bag as well again you're paying 630 bucks i hope this five dollar dust bag comes with it stylings on this very simple it's red it's flashy some of the other ones that are at like 630 bucks are like black and they have a pink x on the front for the off-white but this was definitely my favorite styling overall from all the ones that they had they had about four different ones and at, at 630 dollars yes that is expensive for a backpack for, for a designer backpack when you're looking at brands like gucci louis vuitton this is pretty good especially because there's a lot of hype around virgil this is my personal favorite right here one that i probably would try to be using more and more but for now this is my top drink and then lastly we have Gucci. Yes. We make our way up to the craziest price points of the bunch. And the reason I like to show things like this Gucci backpack are because I want to show you guys if you're going to reach up there, if you're going to aspire and you want to get something expensive, if it's going to be worth that quality. So this one from Gucci was the cheapest backpack that is kind of a backpack, but kind of not a backpack. This is more like a drawstring bag. So let me open this up. Bam. As you can see, just hit my face. This one, of course, comes with a dust bag as well. Gucci always has the nice dust bag. There's a little bit better than the other one. This is like a, literally like a drawstring Under Armour bag you used to wear in high school. School. This is considered a backpack, but if you were to compare it to like a, a actual backpack with the different straps, like all these back here, the cheapest one that they sell was twelve hundred and forty dollars, I believe. And at that price point, I think like over a thousand dollars is really getting up there. And you're in the range of the Louis Vuitton and Gucci. And I wanted to kind of be under a thousand just to kind of show, like, if you're gonna stretch your money and go for something, what that would be at kind of under a thousand dollars. So this one has the Gucci on the front, the leather pad. It has the little lion's head going on there, and then we have yellow leather on the sides in the corner. You have the Gucci colorway of the drawstring and then you got these like little handles on the top now if you look back to the backpack that we were talking about before this one right here that's why I kind of wanted to get something like this because this is one eighth of the price and it has the same strap if you like that look where you can hold it like this and it also has this one has the actual backpack straps in the back but a pretty similar backpack nonetheless on the inside of the Gucci one as I take all this packing out there isn't much going on inside of there there is one zipper on the inside that you can kind of lily hide something if you need to maybe if you're gonna hide your money I don't know what you're gonna be hiding in this for me personally it'd probably be like my wallet or something if i'm going out and i don't want to have it on me you can see right there is that little zipper and then you could probably fit you could fit a laptop in here i would say you definitely want it to be in a sleeve and just something simple like that or maybe some notebooks and then you could drawstring it up and throw it on your back now this is just it's more of a flex for sure because it's got the gucci print all over it it says gucci on the back it's not something i would say wear to school every day unless you're in college and you're you're balling out of control but for the aspect of what you're getting for your money 400 jump to a normal backpack i would stay around this range because i was going to get the more expensive one but that cheapest one was a weird color print was off and it was kind of a seasonal design it wasn't like a permanent print like this would be this is going to get lo more long run use out of it rather than being something that might go out of style in the next season because like the off-white backpack might be something that is not too as long term as something like a good gucci print like this because the company has been around for so long i'm actually going to be raffling this off for three dollars as well so if you want to check the top of the link in the description you can get this for three bucks entering the raffle so opening this up the inside is pretty similar you do have a little sleeve in the back that you could put a laptop in but it really is more 
for padding. And other than that, it just goes straight to the bottom. Yes, it doesn't have like the actual drawstrings on the back, but again, the inside is kind of the same and you're getting the same handle look. So it's not too much in deference of that Gucci one over there. So that's the wrap up for all the different backpacks. I hope this would kind of guide you if you're going to go on that designer backpack route or you're going to go a little bit cheaper. I think that's going to wrap it up for the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out. Oh,